Good afternoon. There's likely to be more rain this afternoon from the showers than we'll see across the UK in the next four or five days. So if sunshine and dry weather is what you like, stay tuned. But throughout the rest of the day, there will still be some heavy downpours around. They're particularly potent, the showers across the west of Scotland. This was the rainfall that greeted East Anglia in the southeast earlier in the day. And that did leave quite a lot of spray and standing water on some of the faster routes. But that weather front, that cold weather front is clearing away and there'll be a good deal of dry and bright weather across the southern half of the UK. Yes, there'll still be a few showers blown in by this brisk breeze, which will make it feel cooler than yesterday, even though we'll realise similar temperatures. Whilst further north, it is distinctly chilly in that breeze, just nine or 10 degrees in some areas. The showers rattling through the central lowlands, some of them heavy with hail, even a rumble of thunder across Scotland, perhaps the north of Northern Ireland as well. Some fairly potent showers running into Cumbria, Lancashire, around the Cheshire Gap as well, pushing across Snowdonia into the Midlands. Uh, they become fewer as you hit eastern areas, east of the Pennines, for example, but we won't be immune to those showers and those gusty winds. Now, the winds will ease quite considerably in the south through the night to allow temperatures to fall quite low and for a little bit of mist around, but not real fog issues, we don't think, tomorrow morning. That's more a problem for the weekend. Nine or ten in the towns and cities, but considerably colder out in the countryside, perhaps just two or three degrees Celsius in some areas. Now, through Friday, it means that we'll have lighter winds in the south following that chilly night. So it will feel more pleasant here when the afternoon sunshine is with us. There'll be some cloud mulling around and certainly some shower cloud further north, still bringing those showers 14s or 15s is up on today though, notice, because the winds are not quite as strong. There won't be as many showers around and that's because high pressure is building. So as the high pressure builds, we see fewer of our weather systems at bay. So as we look towards the rugby at the weekend, England, Wales at Twickenham on the evening of Saturday, it looks pretty chilly actually, I should imagine, by the end of play as temperatures fall away. And that's going to be a trend actually through the weekend with chilly nights. The nights are getting longer now, some morning fog really slow to clear, but feeling lovely and warm when the sun does come out. So a snapshot for you of the weekend is that most of us will have that final warm sunshine once the morning fog has cleared, but chilly in the mornings too. Let's look at the weather now. Here's Helen Willits. Helen. Reach an exciting weekend coming up, what with Strictly, with the rugby and a supermoon. That's a full moon, but it's when it's closest to the Earth in its elliptical path. And at the same time, a lunar eclipse. We haven't seen one since 1982. And the lunar eclipse is when the moon is in the Earth's shadow. So it will disappear, if you like, for a time, go into shadow, it won't be as bright. Now, can you see it? Well, we've been talking about high pressure all week and the chances are pretty good of being able to see that on the early hours of Monday morning because the high pressure looks as if it won't have a great deal of cloud with it as you see at the moment and most of that will be in the north and the west so perhaps here not quite so favoured and we're losing the sunshine as well across parts of Northern Ireland and Western Scotland now but the showers are easing down there's some potent ones still in the north and the east but a good deal of dry and bright weather today the winds are lighter as well considerably so across England and Wales so it does feel pleasant out there I'm told in the sunshine and it should last throughout the rest of the afternoon temperatures similar to yesterday for most of us but dropping away quite quickly through this evening and overnight that time of year now the nights longer than the days so they will fall away the showers continue to ease in the north or any spots of rain and the cloud will tend to break up so a little bit of mist and fog where the cloud breaks in the north more likely in the south temperatures in the towns and cities are still holding on towards double figures but in the countryside it's going to be cold enough for some grass frost fairly widely in rural areas tomorrow morning across England and Wales in particular so it may feel a bit autumnal this weekend in the morning when you open the curtains. There could be some fog around. That's going to become more problematical again, just like last weekend. But by the afternoon in that sunshine, I suspect it'll feel much more pleasant, a little bit like late summer. So Saturday, 
We're losing the fog, could be some across central areas that's quite slow to clear late morning, but we should see some more sunshine actually coming through through Scotland and Northern Ireland. Lighter winds again, so lovely feeling, 15 to 18 degrees Celsius. Super weather for the rugby, mentioned it earlier, England and Wales at Twickenham, but it will be chilly as you head back from the match if you're lucky enough to have a ticket, of course, because again, tomorrow night looks pretty cold as well. These are towns and cities, a little bit lower, and therefore, as a consequence, even with more breaks further north, Temperatures close enough to freezing for some grass frost again. I suppose the main difference as we move between Saturday and Sunday is this weather front starts to creep in a little bit too close for comfort towards the north and west for my liking. So more cloud potentially, hopefully mostly dry. Again, the fog will be a problem in the morning, but once it clears away, it will feel lovely and warm in the afternoons and it should clear away at this time of year for us all to enjoy some sunshine. Rita. Lovely. Helen, thank you. Now a reminder of our top story this lunchtime. The board of Volkswagen is set to announce a leadership shake-up with executives facing the sack over the emissions reading scandal. Well, that's all from us. Now on BBC One, it's time for the news where you are. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.